magnify the Lord with me. Exalt the name of my Jesus. Magnify the Lord with me. Exalt his holy name. Magnify the Lord with me. Exalt the name of my Jesus. Magnify the Lord with me. Exalt his holy name. Thank you very much for streamlining with us. My name is Pastor Mrs. Edith Atake, General Vasya Ban of Love Ministries International. The Church on the Air. Church on the Air. Do visit our YouTube um, channel, Ban of Love Ministries International. We have a lot of messages loaded therein for you. Welcome to our Wisdom Series. And on this series, we are looking at our anchor scripture, which is Proverbs 4, 7, which is that wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom, and with all that getting, get understanding. Get understanding. And we are looking at, in this segment, the importance of wisdom. Wisdom is so, so, so important. So important that the Bible says that it's more important than the merchandise of silver and the gain thereof of fine gold. We see that in Proverbs 3, 13 to 14. Proverbs 3, 13 to 14 says that happy is the man that findeth wisdom the man that getteth understanding for the merchandise of it is better than the merchandise of silver and the gain thereof fine gold wisdom we have said is the god-given ability to judge or to descend correctly it is the ability to follow the best course of action based on knowledge and understanding it is learning and experience acquired over a period of time. It is the ability to see beneath the surface of things, to have judgment, foresight. And so the Bible says that when we get this wisdom, we cannot overemphasize the importance enough. The Bible says that when we get this wisdom, Proverbs 8.11, Proverbs 8.11 says that, for wisdom is better than rubies. Rubies is precious, precious, very, very precious metals. It, say it is better than silver. The gain is better than gold. Proverb 8, 11, it is to be desired more and nothing is to be compared to wisdom. So we are being all here to take time out. A lot of us are seeking for money, seeking for seeking for this, seeking for that. And that is why we have so much, so much evil going on. You hear ritual killing. You hear people killing their mothers, people killing their wives, killing their girlfriends, killing their... A lot of things that are unheard of going on. Why? Because people have put money. People have put merchandise. People have put materialism above godly wisdom. But as the Bible says that when we have godly wisdom, all these things will not matter. And we'll still have the money because the little we have, God will give us the wisdom to expand it. He will give us the wisdom to use it judiciously. He will give us the wisdom to invest it judiciously. He will give us the, the, the ability to be prudent with our resources. He will teach us how to make wealth, how to increase wealth. But because men are no more looking for wisdom, because men are looking, no more looking for the part of counsel, of understanding, of knowledge, of godly fear, as estranged in godly wisdom. They err. They, they err. And so this evening we are saying, let's come back. Whatever time this video clip is coming to you, say, let's go back to the basics. And what is the basics? Proverbs 4, 7 says, seek wisdom, get wisdom in all your understanding, get wisdom. Get wisdom. And so, Father, we pray that you move foolishness far from us. Remove foolishness far from our youth. Remove foolishness far from our leaders. 
far from everyone, mother, father, child. Remove it far from us. Let your wisdom continue to play for our leaders. Let it play for us. Let it play for all in the name of Jesus. Wisdom is the principal thing. Help us all to pursue it, to look for it, to search for it, to go for it. Not to let it go. We should search for it above gains of gold, above the merchandise of silver. Proverbs 8, 11, for wisdom is better than rubies, and all things cannot be compared, nor desired to it. Isaiah 33, 6, and wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of that times. When we have wisdom, we'll be stable, we'll be stable, we'll be stable. Ecclesiastes 9, 16, 18, Ecclesiastes 9, 16, 18 said, Then I said, wisdom is better than strength. Wisdom is better than weapons of war. Weapons of war. We have mentioned it in one of our, our, our clips on this wisdom series. That where there is wisdom, a lot of the weapons of war will not be necessary. It will not be needed. It will not be needed. All the wars, uh, ammunitions, all that is being given to Ukraine. Where wisdom come to play, they will not be necessary. In our nation, it will not be necessary. All over the world, it will not be necessary. So many things that we do are not necessary. Where we have the wisdom of God to come to play, they will not be necessary. Ecclesiastes 7.19 says, Wisdom strengthened the wise more than ten mighty men which are in the city. We continue to look at the gains and the importance of wisdom. We are saying here that wisdom is the principal thing and in all that gets in, gets wisdom. Gets wisdom. When we get it, it says that discretion shall preserve thee. Wisdom gives discretion and understanding. It shall keep thee to deliver thee from the way of the evil men and from the man that speaketh forward things. A lot of people are deceivers now. Proverbs 10 to 12 says that wisdom, when wisdom entereth into the heart and knowledge is pleasant unto thy soul, discretion will come to play. Discretion will come to play. Understanding will come to play. All the wicked people, all the 419 people, all the ritual people, all the bad, bad people. God will give us wisdom as individuals, as families, as a nation. And the nations of the world to combat them, to tackle them, to work on them. So we are saying here that the gains, the importance of wisdom cannot be overemphasized. We must pursue it. We must go for it. We must let it come to play in our body politics, in our nation, in our families, everywhere we are. Wisdom must be allowed. Wisdom must be given the chance to play herself out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And so are you out there? You can pray this short prayer. Say, God, remove foolishness far from me. Remove stupidity far from me. Give me your wisdom, wisdom of words, of thoughts, action. Give me wisdom, give me wisdom, give me wisdom, give me wisdom, give me wisdom. Give our leaders wisdom. Give them the spirit of discretion, the spirit of understanding. Our youth, our children, we pray for the spirit of understanding and discretion. Godly wisdom in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Are you out there? You don't know Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior. Jesus came that you may have life and have it more abundantly. You may repeat after me, say, Lord Jesus. Forgive me my sin. Have mercy on me. Once you say that prayer, all your sins are forgiven. The Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. His continence of favor and of mercy never leave us all. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. God bless you. Do visit our YouTube channel, Church on the Air. Band of Love Ministries International. We have a lot of videos there for you. Of hope, of courage, of strength. Reconciling you to your maker. On Facebook, we have five brand, five vibrant pages. Nation building, search the scripture. When you pray and I pray, ministers of the church, church on the air. Don't forget to subscribe, to share, to like. And not only my video clips, as many vid video clips you see, devotionals you see that make sense, that you like, that you want to share with others, share them, share them. Just press the button, share. And you can also do download the Bible app. They have beautiful Bible inscriptions. Share the word. 
share the word share the word let's bombard the air let's take over the airspace jesus let's spread the word they bombard us with their pornography let's go back to sender with the word share the word share the word jesus loves you jesus loves you there is hope there is hope we will make it nigeria will not go under you will not go under will not know shame will not know reproach he is faithful that has called us as we seek his path as we seek his knowledge wisdom and counsel it will be well with us god bless you thank you very much